Hey, I'm Andrew Howard, a Howard A, and I've created my own website using Adobe Portfolio. It's very simple and very easy. If you have the Adobe Creative Cloud or even the photography plan, Adobe Portfolio comes with that plan. So it's free, quote unquote free. You don't really have to pay more other than actually having a domain. Adobe Portfolio creates its own domain, but if you want your own custom domain, go to something like GoDaddy. Uh, that's the that's who I use to make ahowarday.com. So let's go on to Adobe Portfolio online and we'll create a website. All right, so here's Peter McKinnon's website. It's very simple. It's just like a splash kind of page, like a landing page and takes you other places. Uh, gives his name, of course, tells him, like really explains what he is, YouTuber and a coffee addict. If you don't know, obviously he's a coffee addict, you know, James Coffee Company. It's really good coffee. I even tried it because, you know, because of Peter, because of Peter McKinnon. Otherwise I would never have heard of it. Uh, and then it gives a really good description. Photographer and filmmaker, lover of coffee and good stories, currently residing in Toronto, Canada, running self-titled channel on YouTube, Peter McKinnon. It gives a very, very detailed like description of who Peter McKinnon is in just like one sentence. And then it has a couple of buttons here, biz and queries, just click on it and you can contact him. Uh, merch, which takes you to uh, James Coffee Company, tells you Peter McKinnon mer merch. And then presets goes out to Selly where you can buy LUTs and things like that. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do things exactly like this. And then over here is the buttons to go to social for YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Peter McKinnon actually made his website with using Squarespace. So it's not gonna be exactly the same, but we're gonna make it easier and a lot cheaper for you because Squares Squarespace costs per month. So this is gonna be a lot cheaper for you. All right, so let's open up Adobe Portfolio. And then I'm gonna sign in to edit your sites after you log in. So here's ahowardaid.com, if you wanna check it out. This is not nothing like his. Uh, I made a video just like that uh, almost a year ago and it's got, it's my most watched video. It's like 2,800 views. If you wanna watch it, watch it up here. Uh, it's not very, very detailed. It gets like a basic overview of how to go in depth in creating a website. This one's basically going to create a video, creating a website just like Peter McKinnon. And this is the one I built for this video specifically. All right, so this is the website. Uh, and it's basically kind of the same, but for me, I put Andrew Howard, YouTuber. I even put the same slashes, forward slashes that he used. Content creator, photographer, filmmaker, currently residing on Delmarva, running self-titled channel on YouTube, Andrew Howard. If you have any like digital products you want to sell, you, this is the button to choose. And then over here we have the icons for all the social. And I got rid of the contact thing because contact with Adobe Portfolio would be something after you do external. So I chose to just use a button to email you. All right, so let's find out how to make this website. I'm gonna create a new site. When you get to this page, we want a splash page because for this, most of us, uh, most of the videos that Peter McKinnon does are all uh, I guess on YouTube and everything. So it's like more of like an influencer kind of content creator. So a splash page is actually probably the best thing to do. But if you're a business, uh, starting a business, gallery of work is definitely gonna be good for a portfolio. But splash page is what we're gonna create. And then I did a centered uh, page layout because the left this just doesn't look right. So I pick centered and then we'll start it up. All right, and it comes up with your name automatically and you can find more fonts if you click add fonts. I'm gonna choose a sans serif font, and then you can go through all the fonts you want, and then find one you want to use for you. I'm gonna choose Bayboss New, it's probably one of my favorite um, fonts to use on anything. So we're just gonna do Andrew Howard. This first, oh, you need to, if you need to add something between, go in between these things, in between each of these uh, panels, there's a plus button you can add. So I'm gonna add te text. I'm gonna type in what I am. I am a YouTuber slash content creator. Wow, cannot type content creator. There we go. And then you can change the font. Bayboss New. I wanna change this to a darker color. And then this button, I wanna get rid of. Over here, when you have these things, you can click on the pencil and then click delete that. So same. But for now, because we're going to have the social, I'll delete these for now too. All right, so we're going to click here, add in more text, and this is the tech description about you. I mean, you can look at Peter McKinnon and do the same exact thing if you wanted to. 
but we're not going to do exactly the same. And then you can also change this back to Bay Boss New. And we're going to make this a little bit bigger. And we'll make the title here about 50. And you can add some space later. Right now we're just changing up the size of this. I'm going to make this mm, not 30. 25. All right, now if you want to put a background picture, you can put a background picture of yourself. I have someone on the drive about to connect. So I can have a picture of myself behind here. So all I have to do is press this button and this comes automatically up. You can upload an image or a video. Uh, I prefer to do an image just because the video may you know, loop and everything, but I mean an image will look good too. All right, here's, here it is. All right, so we're gonna upload this, this photo of me that my buddy John took. Because it has, it has a picture of me inside of it. It just adds a little more sense of who you are if they know what you look like. All right, so that's good enough. And then a fear in the back. And usually what I do is I put a cover overlay of black and turn it down about 40% because this one's kind of bright. Done. Okay, I guess I have to click done. All right, and this is Andrew Howard. It's gonna be white. Press done. If you want more room above, if you want more room above, click here, click to margins. Above, we can go to 30. That way there's separation from here. And then this one, we can click here, go to the same thing. Below, we can scrunch it down, press done. And then let's pick another, here we can pick another color did white again. I might just do a white on everything. It'll look a lot cleaner. I might even put this down to 45. Yeah, 45 is gonna look a lot better. And then go over here and edit the margin above. Has all the hex codes that I'm on the left here, if you wanna do it for text, the bottom right here, if you want pure white, it's all Fs. If you want all black, it's all zeros. All right, so that is the descriptional part. If you see how Peter McKinnon is on the right, his is on the right because Squarespace has a little bit more customization to it. But this is based, This is really cheap if you're just doing having the Adobe uh, Creative Cloud and if you don't want to add on anything, any more prices to month per month. It just makes everything a lot cheaper. And then creating the buttons. So we're going to make that button I had with the presets. Click right here. You can add a button. You can edit the button, of course. But you have to go over here to the pencil to edit button and then say, if, whether it's your merch, your presets, but we're going to put presets, an external URL. If you have a Selly account, just copy in your URL and then choose the font that you use for everything else just to keep it uh, consistent with everything. I'm going to do a, this like yellowish green to go along with the theme the page. I'm almost going to have a gold hue to it, but I'm going to leave it at 75% opacity, and when I hover, I'm gonna have it the same color. Click down here, it's already there, and then use 100% opacity. Make sure to click done. Press here, and you can, if you highlight it, you'll be able to see how you get the presets. And you click the presets, it'll go to your store. And then if you want the buttons on your right side, you click here, it has a plus sign, and then click social icons and then you type in all of your social icons. And uh, if you want the email, to import one of the email, you type in your email address and then press done. And on this right side, you'll be able to see the three buttons, barely because of the color. But over here, you press that same pencil button you did before, press edit social icons, and you go to icon style. You want the same color as the other button is, and then have the icon style with icon only. If you want it the same exact as Peter McKinnon, because that's how his are. Background color, don't worry about it because it won't have background color. And then roll over, you want to change it to that, but complete icon opacity, actually icon opacity to 90. So press done. If you roll over it, they will lose opacity a little bit. Uh, we're going to change it because it's not as noticeable. And then when you hover over it, you'll be able to see that they change a little bit. And then if you preview the site, I mean, it's darn near close to what his eye is. And this is, this took, this took me 
under 20 minutes to create. It's so easy and that you're, you can give people the sense of that you have a website if someone asks for something. It has all your links to your, to your social uh, media. So if you're doing influencing for fitness or anything like that, you wanna send them to your YouTube, your Instagram, and all the links are right here. People can also email you if they wanna contact you for any deals, brand deals, or just if, if they have any questions. And it's just easier, so much easier to make it with Adobe Portfolio because it's so it's free with Adobe Creative Cloud and the photography plan. Last thing before I take it off, you can publish your site. And right here is my site. You can put this in the URL. There is the website ready to go. But if you want to create a custom domain, go to some uh, domain uh, register. So go to like go something like GoDaddy. I use GoDaddy myself. It was just really simple and easy. It was pretty cheap for like the first two years. But this is the website. The website's there. If you and then you can link this into your Instagram profile or anywhere. If you send it, put it on a business card and give it to people. So it's just simple and easy. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video learning how to create a website just like Peter McKinnon using Adobe Portfolio, which is almost free with Creative Cloud. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment down below if you want to know more about Adobe Portfolio or if you really like this video, smash that like button, subscribe and hit that bell for notifications when I post new videos. And I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>